You may know her from the colorful cast of Glee. You busted my heart. A woman of many talents like singing and dancing and not talking shit about her coworkers. We really, I honestly, all do get along, thank God. <laughs> Same. 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 <laughs> Someone who could have gone to HR if Hollywood had an HR. Please welcome Amber Riley. Hello. Jumbo. Hello. Hi. Thank you for doing the show. I'm beyond excited to Thank chat with you. Thank you for having me. You are an American icon, so I feel like I am in, in the presence of a cherub from heaven. What do you like most about diversity? I like learning from uh, different people and cultures. We're going to have you learn from people in the culture a little later today. Oh, that doesn't make me nervous at all. No, it's going to be pleasant. F***ing and whole. I prayed about it before I came out here. What did you say to God before you came out? I said, God, use me as a vessel. I also told him to protect me. <sighs> Your debut single was titled Colorblind. Colorblind, Colorblind. Do you feel it was an anthem for the I don't see race crowd? I don't believe in the uh, I don't believe in race group. You don't believe they exist? I don't believe uh, that they believe that they don't see color. <laughs> What's more diverse, the cast of Glee or the Supreme Court? <laughs> wow, that really got you. Uh, the cast of Glee definitely wow. is more diverse. What's worse, Mondays or mandatory diversity training? Mondays. <laughs> really? I've never had to go to mandatory diversity training. You've never training. had to go to diversity training? Mm -mm. We have diversity training on our show. This feels homophobic. You're rich and ungrateful. Mwah, mwah, mwah. White supremacy. I wish our show had that. <laughs> we did not. Would you say there was a race war on that production? <laughs> no, it would require different races. I was the only black one. <laughs> Now, speaking of getting down in the muck, you said that one of your famous coworkers wasn't racist. Mm -hmm. Did you mean that she was? Oh, oh. Um. Next question. I don't, know. I don't even know how to answer that. Um. <clears throat> I don't know which coworker you're talking about. I had so many. I am not going to say that Michelle's racist. You're trouble. I'm trouble? Oh, yes. Would you say that your famous coworker doesn't see race and is in fact rude to all of her coworkers? I think that she would probably say she doesn't see race, but as we discussed earlier, everyone does. And that's what the song Colorblind is about. Colorblind, colorblind. It's not about her. <laughs> Who's more diverse, your famous coworker or your famous coworker after she learned Spanish? She learned Spanish? Yes. <laughs> what? After 17 of 30 seasons of Dancing with the Stars, you were the first black woman ever yes. to win, which is exciting. Yes. Would you say that you're the Nelson Mandela of ABC <laughs> dance competitions? Um, I don't think that I'm the Nelson Mandela, no. I don't think that I caused any freedom. I mean, has there been a black woman since? But Tyra hosts. Tyra is the host, yes. Yeah, so that, that, I guess that's one for us. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What are some micro and macro aggressions you experience working in Hollywood? For me, it's, it always happens in the hair and the makeup trailer. Oh, your hair, so interesting. Oh, wow, can I touch it? Like, a lot of that. So you're mad at the hairstylist for touching your hair? No, I'm mad at the other actors for wanting to oh. touch my hair. <laughs> That's dark. That's really dark. Name three people who made your day more diverse. Uh, <laughs> my makeup artist is a white man. And we love that. We celebrate diversity yes. in makeup artists. My hairstylist is a black woman. And we celebrate diversity in hairstylists. Yeah. Is there a third person? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's pretty diverse in here. What diversity do you see? Well, maybe not in here. Can you, what? We so you said that growing up in poverty helped you not act a fool. Which celebrities are acting a fool? Oh my gosh, there's a lot of them acting a fool. Like who? I can just hear my publicist's ears like, please don't, please don't, please don't. Um, you know, the, the norm. Let's say the usual. The usual suspects. We all know who they are. Do we know who they are? I think we do. Do we? Yes. Do we? I think we do. You are a class act and that is not beneficial to me. <laughs> Would you rather have world peace or diversity? Who oh, world peace. But I think world peace requires diversity. That's such a cop out. <laughs> Give me some... Jerk, girl. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm trying. <laughs> we're working together. We are creating an art piece, and I need clips. I feel like I gave you a little dirt. What dirt? I gave you a little bit of dirt. And what was the dirt? Remind me. I can't remember. It's all happening so fancy. Wait. I won't name names. I don't know which coworker you're talking about. Next question. Amber, you are an angel from heaven. Thank you. It's great for you and bad for me. 